Hi, I'm Anil Kumar and we are discussing quadratic functions with different kinds of roots. Question here is, determine the values of k in the equation 2x square minus 3x plus k equals to 0 so that one root is double the other. We have already done a couple of examples like this. You can pause the video, solve and then look into my suggestion. Here is how we are going to do it. Let the roots be r and 2r since one is double of the other. The ratio is 1 is to 2. If the roots are, are r and 2r, then the quadratic equation should be x minus r times x minus 2r. Now, the question is 2x squared minus 3x plus k equals to 0. So, leading coefficient is 2. So, it's a good idea to multiply this by 2 so that we can compare our equation with the given equation. That is the strategy. Now, let us expand. So, we get x times x is x squared, then we get minus 2rx, and this will give minus rx, and then plus 2r squared equals to 0. Let us expand. We get 2x squared minus, let me first write this as minus 4. I could combine and write 6 also. So anyway, we'll do it in two steps. Plus 4r squared equals to 0. And now let me combine these terms, which I should have done earlier, right? 6rx, I missed r here, plus 4r squared equals to 0. So that is our quadratic equation in which one root is twice the other. What we need to find? Value of k. So let's compare. So the given equation is 2x squared minus 3x plus k equals to 0. Now, k is related with r. We can find the value of r for, com by comparing the coefficients of x, right? So, we'll compare these coefficients, right? Coefficients of x are minus 6r and 3. So, let us compare the coefficients and find the solution. So, the step here is comparing the coefficients of so, coefficients of x, right? We'll compare those. So, we have minus 6r equals to minus 3, and that gives us r equals to minus 3 over minus 6, which is half. So, the value of r is half for us. Okay. Now, we can compare the constants, right? So now, compare constants. So, if you compare constants, we have 4r square is equals to k. Now, r is half, correct? So, what is k equals to? So we can say k equals to 4 times half square, right? Which is 4 times 1 over 4 or 1. So, therefore, we get one answer. That is k equals to 1, right? So, that is how we can solve such questions. I hope the concept is absolutely clear and we can move out and do some more difficult questions based on rules. Thank you and all the best.